prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, Jesus offers to us His body and blood and His life, telling us our value, our worth to Him. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries of God's love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, Grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and His own who are in bonds, He spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please stand. Nagpupuri kami sa'yo, hari namin, Yeso Kristo, ang pagdamay mo sa tao. May talagang panunupo, na kami nagpapalaman. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Cariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. 
And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This Holy Wednesday, and maybe as you have noticed in the past days, Jesus has been telling us about the man or the disciple who will betray him. And in our Gospel reading today, we see the first act of betrayal by Judas. And his first act of betrayal against Jesus was to put a price on the life of Jesus. To put a price on Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, to put a price on people is an act of betrayal. When you put a price on people, you are not able to see the real worth and the real value of people. Kaya, wag na wag nating lalagyan ng presyo ang tao. Wag lamang titingnan ang presyo palagi. Tingnan ang halaga ng tao para sa iyo. Madalas ho kasi, ang hilig nating mag-compute ng presyo, <laughs> ang hilig nating mag-compute ng halaga, Di ba po minsan, kapag may namimit tayo na tao, kapag pasalubong mo pa lang, parang kinocompute mo na agad kung magkano yung tao na yan. <laughs> Halimbawa, nakasalubong mo yung tao. Hmm, nako, medyo mukhang mayaman ito, no? mukhang may kaya ito. Nakompute mo na yung halaga niya sa ulo mo. At minsan, yung halaga ng tao na yan, you reduce him to a price. Uh, when that person is wearing a very nice shirt, sometimes we give him more respect. But when you see a person not wearing a fancy shirt, sometimes we easily dismiss that person. We have reduced people to their price. Their value is equal to their price. Minsan po ay kaming magkakapatid ay pupunta sa kasal. Sabi ng mga kapatid ko, anong ireregalo natin doon sa pupuntahan nating kasal? Sabi ng isang kapatid ko, eto ba, pwede na ito? Sabi ng isa, naku, nakakahiya. Ang yaman niya, no? Ba't ganyan ang ibibigay mo? Dapat dagdagan mo pa, no? Dagdagan, dagdagan pa. Kasi mayaman yan, eh. Sabi ko sa kanila, bakit pag mayaman, mataas ang binibigay ninyo, no? Pag mahirap, pwede na yung baso. <laughs> pwede na yung plato dun sa mahirap na ikakasal. Pero pag sa mayaman, kailangan malaki ang regalo. Hindi ba baliktad dapat? Hindi na nga kailangan ng mayaman yung pera, eh. Yung mahihirap na ikakasal, ibibigay nyo yung tira-tira nyo lang sa bakay na plato. We put always a price on people. 
and we do not value people. That was the betrayal of Judas. He put a price on the life of Jesus. Kaya mga magulang na nandito ngayon, wag nyo palagi tinuturo yung presyo sa mga anak. Kasi paglaki ng mga anak ninyo, ganyan din. They will always put a price. Make them see not the price, but the value of things, the value of people. If Judas put a price on the life of Jesus, Jesus gave us our true worth our value to Him. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the servant of God said, I did not turn my back. I gave my cheeks to be hurt. I gave my back so that they could beat me. I did not turn back. That is how important we are to Jesus. Hindi siya tumalikod sa pagdurusa sa krus, sapagkat mahalaga tayo sa Kanya. He gave His body, He gave His blood, and on the night He was betrayed by Judas, on the night when Judas gave Him a prize, Jesus instead, gave us the most important thing that He could give us, His body and His blood, telling us, wala kang presyo, mahalaga ka sa akin. Ganyan ang tunay na pagmamahal. Hindi ka pinipresyohan, kundi binibigay sa iyo ang tunay mong halaga sa Kanya. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us learn not to put price on people, but instead see their real worth and value to us. Let us thank our Lord Jesus in this Eucharist for giving us our importance and value to Him. Amen. Please stand. As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, His servant. For every petition, let us say, Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ that those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless us in the blood of Christ, that our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ, that those among us who are putting off making their confession because of pride, fear, or laziness, may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ, that the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ, that those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Lord God, 
you gave us the example of your Son to show us how to live and die. Grant us the faith we need to follow Him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Tomorrow, Holy Thursday, we will be celebrating in the morning the Chrism Mass. Yan po ay isang pagdiriwang ng banal na misa. Kaisa po ang ating mahal na obispo, ang lahat ng kaparian, kasama na po ang lahat ng mga mananampalataya, lalo na sa ating mga parokya. Pero dahil po limited pa rin po ang ating capacity, our parish priests chose three representatives per parish only who can come in the Manila Cathedral for the Chrism Mass tomorrow. Bukas po, magsasama-sama ang lahat ng kaparian, kasama po ang tatlong representative per parish dito sa Archdiocese of Manila sa loob po ng katedral. Pero sa mga nais pong umatend ng Christmas bukas ng alas 7 ng umaga, maaari rin pong umatend tayo ng misa sa labas po ng Manila Cathedral. Mayroon pong mga LED monitors and speakers at ang atin pong mga lay ministers ay magbibigay din po ng komunyon sa labas ng Manila Cathedral. Magdala lamang po tayo ng payong. Umaraw man o umulan ay mayroon tayong payong na dala bukas. We will not have our regular 7.30 a.m. Mass tomorrow because the Mass to be celebrated tomorrow is the Christmas Mass at 7.00 a.m. And then we will have the Mass, evening Mass of the Lord's Supper in the afternoon at 5 p.m. to be presided by our Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And in that Mass, he will also wash the feet of people who have responsibilities in the coming national elections. And uh, this will be open to the public, but still limited capacity inside but people can stay at Plaza Roma outside the Manila Cathedral to celebrate with us the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. There will also be confession tomorrow, which will begin at uh, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And then in the evening, after the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper, from 7 p.m. to 12 midnight there will be priests who will be hearing your confessions. And so for the pilgrims who will be coming to the Manila Cathedral, it will be good that we will avail the sacrament of confession. And lastly, we invite everyone tonight for the praying of the healing rosary for the world. We will be hosted by the diocesan shrine and parish of St. Columban in Olongapo City. Let us now stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.